Hello guys, this is Guy, the IT Guy, and today we're going to be covering PCs that can emulate Nintendo 64 games and PlayStation games and Nintendo Wii U games. Now, like, the PC that I have here, I paid a total of $98 for this on eBay, and it can emulate everything all the way up to N64. I'm going to test it, see if it can emulate Wii games and Wii U games. Uh, my previous PC could do that, and the reason why I'm suggesting a PC like this, this is a Dell, well, this is the 710, the 790 is already hooked up, but it looks just the same. I scored the Dell 790 PC for $98 off of eBay. Now, I know you're saying the $98, uh, I could go get, you know, a Raspberry Pi kit, full on, and do the same thing. Yes, you can, but then you're only going to be able to play some Nintendo 64 games, not all of them. And there's a possibility you might not even be able to play, well, <laughs> it's kind of hard to play Dreamcast games on the Raspberry Pi. You have to bump up to, say, like an O-Droid or something else. Uh, a lot of those small board computers, by the time you get your power supply and your controllers, you're spending a well over $150. What I'm going to show you is that with a Dell 790 PC, that you can actually spend $98, not including your controller. Your controller is going to be you know, 20 to 40 dollars, depending on what you want to use. But 98 dollars on the system itself, you don't have to go and put a whole new video card in. I'm going to basically install the emulators on the PC, use a controller that I paid for, you know, 20 bucks. It's just a little Nintendo Switch Pro controller with Legend of Zelda painted on it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to test and we're going to see how far we can push it on stock video card settings but basically I'm just going to install the basic emulators like Project 64, uh, Dreamcade, I'm going to see if that works, is that an emulator? I'm going to install a Dreamcast emulator, a Wii U emulator, basically it's Dolphin, the new upgraded Dolphin. Dolphin runs great. I run it on my little Mac Mini over here, I have Windows installed on it, it's an i5, second gen if I remember correctly, it's a mid-2011. It only has 4 gigabytes of RAM, and it can play Nintendo Wii U games. No problem. I play Super Mario Bros. Wii U on it all the time. And with the Wiimote, it is no problem. So what we're going to do is we're going to basically take a $98 computer I got off of eBay. You can get them too. I'll put the link in the description below where I got mine. You might be able to score a lot more. It's an enterprise computer that is a retired it's 98 bucks. Can't go wrong with it. I paid an extra $15 for it to have 16 gigs of have it upgraded from 8 gigs of RAM to 16 gigs of RAM. But we're going to play it on the stock 8 gigs of RAM one. Right here is our stock video card that comes in the 790 PC. It's a Radon AMD. Um, I forgot the exact specs on it, but I think it did have 1 gig of RAM. It might have been one gig of RAM. We'll find out when we boot the PC up. And we'll read the specs on the computer. It will be using Windows 10. Project 64 does work on Windows 10. Dolphin works on Windows 10. And it works, it works pretty good. So, let's go ahead and get into the video. Okay, so first, we're going to need to download Dolphin, the Dolphin emulator. So we're going to have to go out and do a Google search for the Dolphin emulator. Uh, this is Windows 10, as you can very well see. There's a little Windows 10 icon. So let's go, let's go look for Dolphin. Emulator. Of course, we're going to go to the official Dolphin website as well. Because I, I think that'll be the best thing. We don't want to visit Google account. Go away. Okay, here we have a Windows 10 64. It's available, it's available for Mac OS and Android as well. But we want the latest stable version which apparently was released one day seven hours ago. So we're gonna go ahead and download that to run our 
emulation games off of, or say like our Nintendo 64 and whatnot. And since I have a Windows 10 64-bit computer, we'll go ahead and click on that. And we'll go ahead and let that download in the background. Next. <clears throat> Next, we're going to have to go to Emu Paradise to download our Mario 64 game. I do have it on a jump drive somewhere. But right now, I do not remember where that jump drive is at. Select on ROMs and ISOs. Then you want to go to Nintendo 64 ROMs. And look, it's top of the list. Super Mario 64. As you can tell, I am not logged into MU Paradise. This is the free version. And how to play this game. Hit the download link. Download Super Mario 64. Yeah, you will have to enter a CAPTCHA. Super Mario 64 USA ROM download. Now, to, you have to go past all the ads and whatnot. You want to scroll down to direct download. And there is Super Mario 64 USA. Oh, and we download Dolphin 64. We need Project 64 for the Nintendo 64 system. Because Dolphin is mainly for Nintendo Wii and Wii U games. When you go to a ROM, if you do not have the Propulate Emulator downloaded, what you want to do is click on, you know, how to play this game. On your computer, quick guide. That's if you don't know anything about ROMs or emulators and emulation. Oh, go away, it adds. No! The best thing to do is to hit the emulator's quick download link. See, for Android, they recommend RetroArch. Linux is Moopin64+, which I love that. Mac OS X is OpenEmu. Windows is Project64 and RetroArch. And Xbox One is Win64E10. So... We're going to go ahead and select Project 64. And there is a new version out, 1.6, so we will go ahead and jump with that. And it automatically downloads down there in the bottom left hand corner. And our Mario is already done downloading. Of course, I'm sure you guys already know how and where to find all the emulators and ROMs. It's not that I was trying to show you where to find a ROM. I'm just trying to show you where to find the emulator, but the ROM gets in the way. So, that's there. Okay. Let's go and show in folder. And let's set up Project 64. And I've already connected my Nintendo Pro Switch gaming controller. So it's already plugged in. Windows automatically installed the drivers for that. Which I really like that. And then we'll wait for it to install. I'll go ahead and speed over the video here. Okay, we'll go ahead and launch Project 64 now that she's done downloading. And we'll just minimize our web browser. There's Project 64. Of course, we want to select English. Unless you speak a different language, they're all there. Okay, Project 64. We'll go ahead and click on File and Open ROM. Automatically found, it automatically pointed to downloads because it knows that's where everything is downloading to. Um, you can go into the file menu and change that later. But we're going to go ahead and Open that. Oh, click. Thank you. Now, I do not think that there's any sound. Just in case. Don't want a YouTube strike. There we go.
configure controller plugin. As you can see, it just took me a minute to figure out that Project 64 was not seeing my controller, so I just had to go in and tell it to open up the hidden options. Now C buttons, I usually map those for my other joystick. There we go, I think that is everything. Always make sure you save the profile. We will just call this Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. Save. Here into settings. And then went in here into options. And here, hide advanced settings was checked. I unchecked that. Always make sure you uncheck that. So that we want options. Let's go to graphics plugin. 640 before 80. We will leave that as such. Oh, anti scope. <laughs> Let's just turn all that on. <clears throat> Super Style 2X Textures. This is a quad core i5, so this should be able to handle it. And just in case, there we go. That way I can show you the specs here. See, it isn't a quad core i5, 2400 CPU running at 3.1 gigahertz per core. And it is a 64-bit operating system. And of course, my product ID is blurred out because I don't want you to get my product ID. That would be bad. Okay. Let's go ahead and apply that. Well, not this beginning sequence, but, you know, <sighs> the horse does fade out. So, let's see what that does. Okay. Okay, let's see how this looks. Usually this will clip out and fart all over the place. That, that, that little elf was just standing like that just because. Little sea wing elf sitting on top of something. Yeah, keep, keep lifting that rock there, buddy. Strong man contest ain't for another 10 years for you. She got down off of her roof already. Oh, this Twitter little fairy. It is a stupid fairy. Shake it off. Shake it off. Go inside. Inside. Get in the door. Oh, it disappeared into his soul. Go that way, you little wayward elf. I don't want to talk to you right now, lady. Run away! Run away! He will forever be known as Captain Runaway. Or was it General Runaway? Or was it Commander Runaway? Okay, everything seems to be moving pretty light. Pretty good. Pretty good. Okay. Let's go give Mario another flip and try.
In we go. Nintendo. And intelligent systems. There we go. <clears throat> okay, Koopa Troopa didn't phase out. Mario's mailbox is still there. Luigi comes out in full dress. That's probably a good thing. Let's see if Mario shows up. Okay, Mario shows up. This game is a go. Because if this game was going to be the kind of problem, it would have been a problem already. And it's got its smooth animation. Okay, now we're into GoldenEye. We're going to see how this runs. Oh, Nintendo logo spinning nice. I warn you now, I suck at this game. I am totally terrible. Let's select up here and see what mission we get. <sighs> Still the dam. Doesn't matter where I shoot. I always get the dam. I guess you gotta start out at the dam because that's the way the movie was. Why they only have four file folders there when you can only select the dam. Nine years ago. Yay! So that was 2009. Everything looks archaic like it was 1996. What on earth? Oh. I am terrible at this. So much for having auto aim on. So use this AK-47 looking fool. And uh, going to die. Oh, there he is. Yeah, so far so good. We got smooth animation. Uh, terrible gameplay, but that's my fault because I can't play worth crap. But there you go. GoldenEye is a success. Let's watch him die again. Pierce Bronson is on his knees. There we go. Okay. And now everybody's joining. Wow. So, that was installing Project 64 onto a Windows 10 computer. In the next video, we're going to deal with Neo Geo to show you how well that runs. And then we're going to beef it up to Nintendo Wii and Wii U. So, this has been Guy the IT Guy. Go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section below. Go ahead and hit the like button. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And remember to hit that notification bell so that way you can receive future updates and updates from the community. And always, thank you for watching.